I want to do one more story. Let me just make sure I switch this camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My name love chat. I got one more for you okay. because this is breaking and, you know, you got to get to it first. We got to get to it first. What's this? Is it breaking even after, like, just... Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. God. We are the Breakfast Who do you got there, MV? special guest in the building. Ooh. Artist by the name of Presser. Welcome, brother. Okay. Yeah. 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 I can believe it. For people that don't know who Presser is. Presser on the Breakfast Club, fam. Took in some of it still. Yeah. We still got the best Presser interview out there. Act number yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 you know what? I, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to still say Act is, is a very close runner for the best Presser interview. Yo, he we got the job. best Presser interview on Zoom at that. Like, yo, yeah. that interview, we got the man to open up. Like, yo, we didn't get as much time as we should have, but we know when he reaches down or if we go over there, we're going to get a long one. But yeah, we, we, to me, I don't know what it is. Like these, ter- he just doesn't feel comfortable getting he interviewed. not look comfortable in this interview, fam. At all. It, <laughs> sorry. The comments are shit on him too, Yeah, man. Bro. It's 22 minutes and you 34 feel seconds, bro. <laughs> yeah, he. I'm looking through the comments right now. Clearest thing he said in the whole interview is, "You feel you me?" Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get a "You Feel Me" T-shirt. Like, let's just troll the fans and everybody else. He needs to get a "You Feel Me" T-shirt. <laughs> Everyone has a "You Feel Me" counter. Post the final number. Oh my god! <laughs> no, the funniest one I seen. Sorry, press. The funniest one I seen is like, "Yo, somebody feel him." <laughs> <laughs> Press. But this is a good look, bro. Yes. Like it's definitely a good look, regardless of if the interview was not your favorite or not. I'm super proud of Presser. Yeah. Like, like just for Toronto, like it's just a good fucking look, regardless that we're getting somebody that's not the weekend, mm-hmm. not Drake, not uh Tory Lanes, not like an R&B singer that's huge, Division or one of them. This is somebody from the gutter that's yeah. made it on one of the. Big, the biggest urban fucking platform. No, that's for the biggest. Us, that's the biggest. Period. I'm sorry. That's the biggest. That's the, that's probably the biggest platform for us. No, because like this biggest hip hop platform. Period. Bigger than World Star. Bigger. No, easy. Breakfast Club is where everyone wants to go. The thing is with Breakfast Club is that their viewership is so large and their listenership that he's already had at least two hundred thousand people hear him on the radio. Yes. Right. But the viewership, like, right now it's the 25th while we're recording this, and it's the 25th when it dropped. It's already at 20K. That's proper. And it dropped not this morning. It dropped, like, list, so literally afternoon. maybe three hours ago from when we're filming this right now. That's crazy. And it's at 20K. So it'll probably touch, like, because he's Pressa and he's not, like, well-known, he probably will do, like, 900,000, yeah. 800,000. That's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Maybe by the next year it'll be at a mil. That's fucking great, yo. That's proper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like, well, maybe not a mil. It maybe touch eight hundred thousand, which is excellent. You know what I'm saying? That many people good, watching you, bro. bro. That's watching. That's not even like the listening audience. And that's one place. Remember, that's just their YouTube the, channel. Yeah. There's people who are repurposing the content. Like I fucking already reposted it on the We Love Hip Hop page. I don't know if they still does Breakfast Club still have to deal with like Flow or G98.7 if they're still down sure. here. I'm not Cause sure. Because even if they have that, you definitely know that's getting played on the radio. <laughs> like they're definitely For running sure. that back. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about it. We're definitely going to promote it. The other platforms yeah. have. This is a good look for Presso. Yeah. One thing I will say, I don't know if he can make it possible. Just going back to like the interview aspect of it. Mm. He needs to get Bun Dog beside him. Yeah. <laughs> Bundog needs to be beside Presso when he does these interviews, fam. It'd just be like, yeah, you feel me? But bro, bro. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you, every time you said this, say this, because we talked about this off camera too, it brings me back to the Casper K Money interview. Because K Money was the person who we were interviewing. Mm. He was the person who I got in contact with and booked the interview with. Yeah. He brought Casper and RK with him. Okay. And Casper did most of the talking. Most of the talking, (laughs) right? You need those sometimes, man. Exactly. If he didn't, I don't know if that interview would have been as as slapped as much, bro. (laughs) Casper has some jewels in there, bro. Yeah, like even when like Pangs and Tutu, like interview loading. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah. you know unlisted <laughs> but one of the two I'm pretty sure will talk more or who knows they'll both talk but sometimes you just mm-hmm. need that one other person that's on the side there to talk because sometimes you just don't know what to say they ask you certain questions that are uncomfortable and it's like 
Yeah, that's, that's where just, Bundog would have jumped in and be like, oh, Jalen Finch. Da, 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 yeah, da, 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 you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. But Bundog just knows how to just finesse the questions more. Pressure just seems like, man, I just want to be out here, have fun. I don't want you guys to ask me no motherfucking questions. You I know I got to do it, but like, I just want, I can't even smoke here. Like, <laughs> oh, like, fuck. goddamn. Because every time I see Presser, like now that he's blown up, he's always smoking. Yes. So he's probably like, Yo, I need a spliff right now. Yeah, fam. So bad. Like, yo, fam. You really can't burn here? Like, <laughs> I can take a, a, a five-minute smoke break? Yeah, he de- he definitely looks uncomfortable. Actually, that's Cap. Because academics, he's on on record saying enough times, on off the record too, um, mm-hmm. that he doesn't like weed smoke. It bothers him, da 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 da, da right? So the only time that it was any weed smoke in any of his interviews lately is with Soldier Boy, and they were outside. They're outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But Presser wasn't smoking down his fucking studio neither, bro. And they talked and they were great. But he was, again, I go back to just the relationship. Academics makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why, like, you pay attention to him a little bit more. All right. So that's a cut in. Um, <laughs> with Presser, we were, we, I think you were saying about the how comfortable he was with Ak, even without smoking. Yeah. So I think, like, academics just makes people feel more comfortable. Mm. Like, um... He just feels like one of the man them, like a regular person. Fact. He doesn't feel like he's bigger than anybody. He don't have the flashy chains. Yeah. And like, he just has a relationship with press. And it's, this is Angela Yee. You're looking at her. Like, you're looking right at her now, right? Angela <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. Like, oh, yeah, because he was on lip service with the. Um, he was on Zoom. The Zoom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's true. He's, he's seen Angela Yee before. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> you know, you're, you're like. You're like right there. <laughs> Holy shit. I've like, seen that at the BT Awards or something. Yeah. Well, they were saying in this interview how he's seen Envy a couple of times at the BT Awards because and, he, and Envy's like, yo, you never talk to me. Anytime you see me, you never talk to me. <laughs> what's, what's up? Like, why don't you want to talk to me? Yeah. Right? But he's saying that like the time that he's seen him there is because he was talking to Coyle Ray on the red carpet, mm-hmm. whatever, whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. So I guess he just played his position. He just fell back. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, Envy. So, oh, Pressa was asking Envy that. No, Envy was Envy. telling Pressa, like, every time I see you, you never talk to me. Oh. Because Pre- um, Envy be on red carpets and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, interviewing yeah, yeah, people, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So, like, he's probably seen Pressa, like, three, four times. He said he said he's seen him 17 times, right? <laughs> but, like, he probably seen him. He's talking to Coyle Ray. He's like, this guy's a rapper, <laughs> and he's not saying nothing. This is even saying, he said this in the interview. He's yeah. like, yo, you're not saying nothing, fam. Like, yo, you're a rapper too, <laughs> yeah, right? Promote yourself. Yeah, but like, I, I think Presso is like, I don't know if it's a Canadian thing. Like, it's the Toronto man in him. Let me just chill back. He's like, you know. I don't want to do too much. Yeah. Like, I'm Toronto. You, you know how the Toronto guys feel like, yo, I don't want to promote. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm being in on. Nah, fam, let her, let her do her thing. Like, when you guys actually call me first, then, yeah, you can talk to me. But since you're calling her, deal with her, fam. Yeah. What would you do in that situation? I'm you're on the red carpet. Your girl is the one. You're both artists. But they're they're get my fucking cloud out. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Good to get out right now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Oh, we got who, who would be? We got Lizzo, <laughs> Lizzo and her boo. Who's your boo here? Oh, this is my boo. He's an upcoming podcaster. Got to go. Yeah, yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying, boo? Yeah, I'm saying. Watch my podcast. We love hip hop. Six views on cut. You know, we out here every week. <laughs> Yeah, you know I'm saying tune in, Lizzo. You know, I didn't want Lizzo on the show. I want to do this on myself. You know what I'm saying? But when I blow up, I'm gonna bring her on the show. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you finish, girl. <laughs> do your thing, baby. You know, you look good, man. Big up, Smiley. I seen Smiley with Lizzo too. Well, yo, by the time it, you though. finish saying that, their time limit is already done. They're like, all right, thanks, all Lizzo. Right, all right, thanks, Lizzo. <laughs> See you inside. <laughs> Like, nigga, don't do that when MTV pulls up, eh? Like, shut the fuck up, bro. When MTV comes, just say, hey, I'm gutsy and keep it moving. Yeah, just walk two steps back and let them continue <laughs> to talk to me. But no, I'm getting my clout on. Especially if it's a, a um, if it's an industry relationship. <laughs> no, he said he's still him. with her. I know he's still with her, yes, but. No, because there's been speculation. Oh, that they've been broken up. Yeah, because they said they unfollowed each other and all Mm -hmm. types of... I don't understand Mm -hmm. how people find out that people unfollow each other, fam. Like, how are you, like, like, checking on on this person daily to see? Yes, I guess so. Because you don't get a notification, like, yo, they're not following each other. You literally would have to go and look in the person's following. You're stalkers, bro. That's crazy. It is. Because when this shit happens with anybody, 
people know right away. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, unfollowed yeah, each other. Like how? Something happened in twenty minutes ago. Press on, follow Coiler. <coughs> How did you know twenty minutes ago? Like, what were you doing in your time that <laughs> knew that you wanted to go see if Pressa was on following <laughs> Coilery or Coilery was following Pressa? Is you just every hour or so you just check people's accounts? Well, you have stands, fam. That's what the, that's what stands yeah. do. They're just there daily. Let me see what Coy is doing. Let me see if she's still following this guy. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sidetrack, no sidetrack. You know that you're not lit when they don't like announce that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you unfollow each other and nobody fucking announces yeah, it, announces it. <laughs> then that you give it to the blogs you go send it hey you know i broke up a thing right you didn't see we un- unfollowed each other like oh did you mm. oh okay I true. Time, nobody checked you nobody t- sent us anything your fan base has been pretty quiet <laughs> we'll send it to wheeler <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> 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 but yeah man big up the press man yeah, I, I just wanted to add that on because it's a positive thing too you know what i'm saying like, yeah that's super good look for press man yeah man i, I want to see more well actually i don't know where else he can go from here he can go to the other places yo hot 97 nah, we're gonna ask him to freestyle and shit so i want to see him and ebro fucking go back and forth ebro is not an easy interview i a lot of people don't like ebro i'm one of the people who are not on that part of the, the side i like ebro yeah because he he he's not easy on people bro here's the thing i don't think he needs to get interviewed with everybody Mm. i think we've seen like he's got that big interview i think it's now it's time for him to take his music to the next level because it's been almost a year since attachment has come Mm. on it's 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 gonna be that time to drop another one like you know what i'm saying like he he got he got blessed too because you know I was a man I I was at that point where I was just like yo Preston he's a hit fam yeah. he dropped attachments yeah then he had Koi go on it so it lasted him for the year yeah very dope super dope what's next though what's the next move okay before we before we, we before we done this okay <laughs> what is the next move like if Pressa was to do a new song that's going to tear down the place. At this point, he's done a f- done it by himself. Attachments, okay. Oh, well, Taliban Glizzy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah, disrespect yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. Salute to you, Taliban Glizzy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need more love. You know what I'm saying? But like, it was, you know, actually none of his songs have been really solo. Canada Goose was with Tory Lanez. This is the problem. Ooh. This is the problem that Gutsy. <laughs> you know Gutsy's mixy, right? And I love Pressa. Like I, I super dope. I love everything he's doing. Mm. But if if we're gonna be like the guys like Joe and them and the podcasters that have to put Pressa in a higher note with the Drakes and everybody else, he's gotta give us one by himself. He, one okay, he does have to give us one by himself, but he also has to give us a next one. Yeah, but here's the thing. I was g- going in the direction of I was going to ask you, well, who does he need to collaborate to get that next hit, maybe? But now when I think about it, most of his hits have been collaborations. You need a Drake hit, fam. But maybe... I, I understand like, you need... Yeah, you need a... Yes, you, you need do need a collaboration. You need a collaboration with the boy. And the boy is the ultimate stimulus package. I think that goes without saying. Yeah. But I think he might need to prove that he can make a hit song without anybody on it. There you go. That's another one, too. That's not easy, fam. It's not because to bro. call in the favor and say, you well, know, let me get the great feature. That can that's, you're already going to get their fan base. He does it though. There are some artists that are out there that connect with other artists, and you know that you're cool. French Montana, like I can't remember him having like a lot of songs by himself. But he's a French Montana artist. Like you, when you start doing that. You get bec- you, it's it's bec- it's become an, an, a noun now. You become a French Montana artist. But then. That's Nobody wants problem. to be that. No disrespect to French Montana. There's but he did have, French did have one too. Like, I ain't worried about nothing. Didn't have nobody on it. That was it. Yeah, but that's pretty much it, bro. French is the guy. French is adorable. Yeah, he, French is like, yeah, he's one of those guys that have a bunch of people on their songs. He, he's and, decided, and, and, yeah. He's, he's, like, he's, he's, he, you pair him with something, it works. But that's not a bad thing, especially for a Toronto artists to have something like that too. No, 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 actually, no, no, no. Man. We're capping. No, no, no. We're lying to ourselves now. He's had some big hits by himself because Nova Kane was a fucking huge. Not it international. Wasn't, not it wasn't international, but he that was a big tune though, right? Like for that was us. A big, <laughs> and no, Demiana was big too. I think even cross the border, Nova Kane kind of slapped in in UK. Maybe in the UK. In the, yeah. in the states, they have no idea about that song. Fam. I'm telling you. Well, bro. 
the song that they do know about is Canada Goose and Attachments now. Yeah. Those are what the American audience. Yeah, for a fact. Yeah. Attachments, let's say you're just the average, um, what do you call that? Uh, a casual it. fan. Mm-hmm. Attachments was your introduction. And then when you went to a Spotify thing, you seen Canada Goose and you tapped on that too and said, that's fire. Oh, Tory Lanez is on that. I like that. Yeah. He doesn't have, and then he has songs with gigs. He has a bunch of different yeah, 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 features. He, he has mad features. Yeah, he does. But he does. And so he has relationships. But that one where people are like, yo, that's just him by himself. Remember Drake? It took a long time for him to get a number one by himself. Yeah. But that's important to make you that artist. But Drake has songs where people are listening to him by himself all yeah. the time. Some of his biggest songs are him by himself. Yeah. Online bling. To be a long-term artist, you need to be able to have some hits by yourself. yourself. Yeah. Because what ends up happening is if you always have to get another feature, then you're always looking to Just yo for, them for the concerts and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Not even that. Like now you need to make another hit. You gotta call somebody all the time, bro. Yeah, that too. You can't just go to the studio and just give you, yeah, I'll give well, you another hit. Not, well, it, it, that doesn't seem like an issue for him. Because it, it seems like Rowdy who Rowdy Rebel, everybody seems like they want to yeah. work with him because he's that now, guy. But yeah. if you're like let's say everybody has a, a heat trajectory. A, um, a, super hot process and then there's times when you're cooling off yeah yeah when you're cooling off your phone doesn't ring as much people don't answer as much right Mm -hmm. so now if you're the feature guy your features start going down (laughs) you know what i'm saying you're not getting as hot as the features before when you were hot hot but you need the feature to come back right the only reason why i have faith in him is because of taliban glizzy because that nigga came out of nowhere and that that freaking that verse was fire as that fuck. was fire so like i have faith in press in the features but yeah i hear what you're saying too he yeah needs he something definitely by himself, needs by himself man. he needs a huge tune by himself yeah where people are like international Yo, have you heard tune? this song by this presser guy not presser and so and so because if he doesn't want to drake it's going to be the drake song with this new guy from toronto it's going to be like no, he's already gained his his notoriety drake with coil ray's boyfriend did a song yeah like He's going to have to work his way past that fucking Drake shadow for, uh, again. And he's obviously like every time people ask him, he's in an interview, they're asking about fucking Drake. 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 Right? Ask him about something else. There's so many other artists in yeah. fucking Toronto the man work with, bro. And you guys are just jumping to Drake. Oh, my God. Drake. We didn't ask the man one Drake question. That's why he fucks with us. You know what I'm saying? But like to be real and, you know, I think like uh, him fucking with us, it's us being real. I think Presser, if he catches this. If he catches one by himself, oh, he's he's it's a fucking rap. He's bro. already he's already gone. He's on different levels. He's in yeah. next tax bracket. Next tax bracket when he does that. Yeah, yeah. You just catch a billboard one, and it's just only you. You don't even have to share the splits or nothing. Oh, Lee, just you and the producer. It's a rap, bro. Then he'll start getting the um the Calvin Harris's and then them people start hollering at you after yeah. when you get that one and be like oh we'll just produce the beat for you and then DJ Marshmallow and all these people and press up oh that's when you know you don't you have to do here. two verses now you just have to show up do your eight bars nah, 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 nah. <laughs> right? and then fucking collect your check bro that's it yeah but yeah man I think that's all we got man yes sir you know what I'm saying I think we could we could wrap it I guess we could fucking put press on a track to wrap it big up press man what, what press it got that we can play here off of Spotify here what pops up in his fucking his top thing play Novocaine that sucks that it doesn't pop up in his top thing Novocaine yeah what's in his top five um attachments Canada Goose uh, um or actually attachments remix Canada Goose, Attachments, and then Was Gang is the is um, mm, oh, the fourth one. Yeah. Nova Kane. Nova Kane Press. Nova Kane Press. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment to Nova all these Kane videos. Murder,